Rolling! Today on Great TV, we go a little nuts. Fire it up! Roadside here in South Carolina, what, you never heard of a boiled peanut? This is the way to get them. Needless to say, a joint like this, you can't find it geolocated on any Google map. Gary with Archie's Deep South Boiled Peanuts in Jacksonboro, South Carolina. A boiled peanut is a southern salty treat that can't be beat. Give me some guidance. How do I start? You gotta have a pot, a flame, and you figure on about six, seven hours. That's what it takes to cook. And I got industrial equipment. And I guess I need some salt too, right? Yeah. You use cayenne pepper in that? Cayenne. Of course, you see the other pepper. Right. I'll try and figure it out and start with a good green peanut. I've never used a green peanut. What kind do you use? I use a dry raw. I was told it couldn't be done. I've been doing it for 24 years. You use what? A dry raw peanut. A dry raw peanut. Yeah. Anything a green peanut is just come up out the ground. How long How long you been doing this? 24 years. I'm longer than anybody in the business on South Carolina coastline. All right. Yep. And you well, use dry raw dry peanuts? Dry raw, that's what I've got. From the birthplace of American barbecue, you got a little clip of it there. Uh, the little country of South Carolina. Talking boiled peanuts today. It's Jack Waybor, three-time South Carolina state champion. I'm Bill West with BarbecueTricks.com. So this was Timbo's boiled peanuts. Timbo's boiled peanuts. So you stopped by the, the barbecue stand and got you some Timbo peanuts, huh? Yeah. And so we thought, peanut. let's figure out how we make these at home. What is the key? Timbo's been around a long time. The key to boiled peanuts, of course, is to have the right peanut. You need that. You need to have a flame. You need to have some water to boil in, and then you need to have some sort of idea about how you want to make the brine, is what the peanut is called, is going on. So here we have some green peanuts, and these are dry green peanuts because uh, you know regular fresh green peanuts aren't really in in. Uh, and sometimes you can get them; they're really small and yeah. really actually more green. So and that's it all depends. Yeah, and it's kind of a variety. Um, the one that, that he has is a Virginia peanut. Usually has three peanuts in the in the hull, and you'll notice that all those are kind of small. They have three peanuts in the hull. This is a different peanut, and what the actual um, variety is, I'm not sure, but there's, it's a jumbo peanut with two peanuts in the hull. See how those have three and these have two? Mm -hmm. Great. So we go ahead and we put them in our, our little colander here. We have about a half a gallon of water over here on the stove, and this is getting hot right now. We're going to add some some. Um, Cajun seasoning because you want to make Cajun. Yeah, and probably peanuts. half the time, most of the time, you probably see them just it's just salt and water and peanuts. I like when you can find a Cajun peanut, so let's that's right. A shot. So the rule of thumb: build gallon of water, cup of salt. Um, that's the rule. That's kind of like where you start. Gallon but of water, cup, cup of salt. salt. So there. So you we have a, this is a half a cup right here. We got about half a gallon here. So we're going to actually put Cajun seasoning in here. Now the main ingredient in this Cajun seasoning is going to be salt, but we may need to taste it as we go along to make sure that we have enough salt in there. And the rule of thumb is to make it salty as the seed. Okay. So that's how that's when you're when you get to that point. That's where you're going to be. We've talked about salty as the seed when it comes to Cajun boils for their shrimp and so on and so forth. It's the same thing, whether you're cooking a peanut or whether you're cooking shrimp, it's all the same. Is that a salty as the sea thing? Is that a cup of water? What is it again? Cup yeah. of water, gallon of water, cup of salt. Gallon of water, so that about matches and it. It about matches it. You may want to add a little bit more water. If you like it saltier, you may want to take some out. If you don't like it so salty, it's all a matter of what you like to do. I like to throw a ham hock in mine too, Bill. I like to, he had, you know. uh, Timbo had ham flavor. Sure. Which I, it was actually the first time I'd seen that. So all, also, you, all you do is uh, drop these peanuts in here when the water gets to a boil, put a lid on it, let them go three hours minimum till they get tender. You want to be tasting them along the way. It may take as long as six or seven hours. Timbo, for his Cajun, put some pickled peppers in there. Yeah, those are the regular pickled peppers. We're going to add jalapenos to ours. Okay. And again, it's probably something you could do whatever you want. Like whatever you want. Hey, we'll put bone. our... You know, we got some spices with the barbecue pantry. We got that. We'll put a, a recipe on greattv.com so you can kind of go off of ours and see what you yeah, want. Yeah, this is kind of a custom blend that uh, Cheyenne Ledyard made us over at Barbecue Pantry. Uh, certainly, you're welcome to give him a call at uh, Barbecue Pantry or on Etsy. He's working this. Pop that in and let's let it boil for. We got some in there. About how many hours? About three hours minimum until they get tender. The dry ones will take a little bit longer than the green ones. It just takes time to make boiled peanuts. That's why boiled peanuts and barbecue go so well together because it's just one of those things that you sit down and have a cold one and uh, enjoy peanuts. Speaking of that, are, you, are we missing our cold one for the show? 
We almost did. Oh. The show that's about a beer to drink. We'll I let those boil for about six hours and see what we got. Could... That's about uh, that's about three and a half hours right there. I think we should taste them. What do you think? Nice and salty. Yeah. Boiled peanut. Some people say they like them al dente. I've been known to eat a shell or two when they get really soft. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I like to stick mine in my mouth like you just saw there and I kind of crack it. I like to taste that brine. I like the salty of it. And then you just kind of really give it a do. pop. And if you can get a little spicy oil in there with the Cajun seasoning, even better. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable on every chance you get. Eat a peanut. Hug your mama. Redneck caviar. <laughs>